welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes and also answer some business questions because for those of you that didn't know, I created my own candle business about six months ago called A Little Tame and I want to dive into that a little bit more today. I started this business back in October 2021 and where the idea came from, I remember I was just like at work one day. I just rebranded into more wellness and positivity. I just had an idea and I was like, I want to pick up a new hobby, candles, therapeutic, and plus I can do body positivity. So that sparked my idea for creating body positivity candles. And they were the first products I launched along with bubble candles. I just did those originally coming out with soy wax and completely just white. And then I also did have the vanilla caramel scent and also pink. But now comparing the candles that I've made to the candles I make now, the quality is insanely different. But that is what happens when you first start out a business I feel like the quality changes massively the more experience and the more time you put into it I remember at the start of the business I was like oh my gosh this is freaking hard I'm so so ready to give up and then I remember just kept going through watching talking to other people and just listening on how I can make my candles the best and I always knew from the start that I had to offer something different so that's why my brand is really honed in around the concept of positivity and that's what I live my life by I try to see the positives in every single moment don't think I don't have those moments where I'm like Ugh! but I try and live every day as happily as I can and that means looking on the bright side of everything so you'll see on my website and through the candles names everything has a positive spin to it my little cheeky candle that I've recently just launched is called the care less candle so rather than careless it's care less so by caring less you can take off so much stress and stress <laughs> take off so much stress and pressure on yourself and that's why I wanted to make sure with every single candle it stood for something positive that people can look at that read it on the website and be like you know what I align with that and with that comes intention from a candle so I like to have my slogan spreading positivity from my space to yours because that's pretty much what it is I try and stand for as a person like I said before positivity and that's the message that I want to spread so my slogan being spreading positivity from my space to yours means if you you buy a candle that's made with love and intent that hopefully when you have that and you look at it it's a constant reminder of that positivity if you're having a dull moment you look at the candle you're like yes and the reason why I also picked candles as well is the whole self-care aspect as well I think that's such an important part of life and to just making sure that you're constantly feeling good at the same time so basically self-care in a nutshell with a candle is lighting it journaling taking a bath just really soaking in all of that moment and I feel having a scented candle as well just sort of gives you that little bit extra all of the candles that I make are scented if someone has a preference of unscented they can definitely message me at the start I did have a lot of unscented candles but I've moved away from that and we're going scented 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 I also make sure the quality of my candles is up to a very high standard and if it's not I do make sure that I discount those products just because personally as a customer and a shopper if I see something and I see like you know two of the same products and one of them has a dent in it I would definitely go for the most perfect item and if it's not I would expect a discount I don't know if that sounds very like mm, but if you're paying for something you want it to be quality that's why I want to make sure with every single product that I bring out that it's to the highest standard it can be and if it's not I want to make sure that I let people know or I want to discount it for them I think that is the fairest way and if products don't make the cut I'll show you what I do with this so if products don't make the cut I use them myself for background images and I also do them as test burns for instance we have this little rainbow here as you can see it does have this little crack out here it has a little chunk missing out of it that means it's now a background prop for my images so basically you'll see it on my Instagram and on the website through pictures but this won't go to a customer if it was I would have heavily marked it down probably about five to seven dollars off just because of this little missing thing there I still think the candle is beautiful and unique but it's just not up to the same quality and then here we have ugh, a lovely watermelon this is is literally I think it was just off-centered and I really just needed one to see what it burnt like do a burn test see how it smells love them I've done a few different rebrands as the brand has started and I've really done a lot of work on the marketing I feel like that is such an important part of owning your own business I think because I have the social media experience beforehand I found it very easy to adjust over to that I jump on stories nearly every single day I make sure that I'm constantly putting content out one to two images a day and then I'm also making sure that the reels are up to date I do want to dive more into SEO for the website SEO for YouTube SEO for Instagram and I also do want to jump onto the whole ad market as well I'm just finishing off 
of my feed for the Instagram and then I will be investing in some of those. I also just want to put it out there, when you first start a business, don't expect to make a whole bunch of money quickly. I am what, nearly six months into the business and I'm still a little bit in debt. I've been kind of paying it off as I go, using my savings to invest into the business. Any money in the business goes straight back into the business. So pretty much I'm making nothing, but I've just actually <laughs> invested another $600 in. So now it's just about making those sales to pay that off, but then that money will be used on future things like wax, sense. It's all about growing and expanding the business. And even though technically to this day, I've worked my ass off doing, you know, extra overtime on top of my job, working nine to five, doing candles, making it, mixing it around. And I still haven't made anything. It's the bigger picture that you have to look at. And that's why I recommend if you're starting a company, you have to really be passionate and really love what you're doing or the reason why you're doing it, because otherwise you're never going to stick to it. Take me for instance, if I didn't love this, I would end up hating it because it's not an instant cash back. It's something that you invest into. And I just look at it in a little, I look at it as an investment in myself and something that I'm super, super proud of. And I feel that I'm just expanding on that as I go and I'm learning so freaking much. Another huge tip that I would recommend if you are starting out a company would be make sure that you keep a hold of every single thing that you have bought for the business and every single thing you have sold for the business. Now I can definitely dive into those topics more if you would like to. But the reason being is because you want to know your cash flow, you want to know your accounting. When you get to a point where you need to pay tax, then you want to know that as well. For my website, I go with Wix and I really enjoy using that. If anything, I have used Shopify through a different company and I've also heard Squarespace is good. It just depends what you're gonna do for integration for shipping later on. I feel like you need to think of that ahead or have someone to tell you like me. Now, look into that who you wanna go with, depending how large scale your business grows. You can always change it over later, but it may cost you a lot in web development and things like that. One of my goals this year was to be in a stockist, so in a store to make my products more accessible. And that finally happened for me. They are now stocked at Lilac Lotus Collective, and that is in Frio. I always feel like I have a tongue twister moment with that. That's why I pause. But yeah, go check them out if you want to have a look. That way you can give them a snip and you can try them out. And I feel like I have a larger audience in Perth. Okay, this makes it more accessible for them and it does get my brand name out there. Like I said before, it's trial and error. I've realized the tags on them are way too big for them, but that's okay. I feel like I'm just gonna get through them and then move on to the next thing. Now, I feel like I don't wanna ramble on too much for you guys, but I'm also going to show you some behind the scenes of the company so that you can see a little tame in action. So here we have the background of the Instagram. As you can see, if I try and crop that, that is where we're sitting at. I try and change the background around quite a lot. Here is also what I shoot. If you guys would like to know how I made this and just let me know and I can go through that. And here we have the headquarters. So as you can see, this is chock-a-block full. I definitely need to go through and organize, but these are all the candles that I have in stock. So that is what represents the uh, website stock on Wix. Up here, I just have an order that's come in. So these are the new Careless candles. As you can see, they are just middle fingers. <laughs> then I have up here a giveaway post. So just for my normal Instagram account and then also for the candles. So as you can see, it's like yellow and then pink. And then we just have a vanilla caramel pink body. So I've now recently started to do bundles. And then here we have like vanilla caramel, more vanilla caramel. It's kind of separated in colors and scents as well. So here's a little sneak peek. This is my old background if you follow me on Instagram for a while, but now we have switched to the cleaner feed. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.